What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what could it be that's hiding in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is this a model kit or what's in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? How hard is it to put together? Is it made of leather? Hey, what's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Today's episode of What's in the Box was filmed right here at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Ursulescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Welcome to another fun-filled adventure of What's in the Box. And we're continuing our Fire Slayer Age of Sigmar videos with the Fire Slayer Hearthguard. These guys are really cool. But before I begin on that, I'd like to say that I have a whole bunch of older White Dwarf editions that pertain to the Fire Slayers. These are issue 102 from January 2016, the 9th of January. Issue 104 from the 23rd of January 2016. And issue 103, the 16th of January, 2016. And these magazines are a, I know they're a little outdated, but they are still a treasure trove of information. This one pertains to the Fire Slayers. Um, most importantly, the Hearth Garter in this one. This is issue 102. I will have these on my monster-hobbies.ca website pretty soon. But... This is a really cool magazine because they show you all the Fire Slayers, um, the regular character models, not the character models, but the, the units, the battalions, whatever they are. There's Volkite Berserkers. It talks about all the heroes and everything. There's lots of neat pictures of the models. But here is the Hearth Guard. And the Hearth Guard, you can find them on page 9 of this White Dwarf edition. And it also shows the other version of this. You can make the Hearth Guard Berserkers. And all this comes in that one box. And the other nice thing about this issue is that you go, if you go into the back, you get the War Scrolls. And there is the paint splatter telling you how to paint these guys. So now without further ado, let's go over to the bench and open up our Hearthguard models. What's in the box? What's in the box? All right, here is my Hearthguard. What's in the box indeed? Let's see. Well, on the back of the box, of course, they show the Hearthguard models. They also give you the paint chart here. For your skin and your hair colors and all the rest. Now let's have a look at. See, there's more runes. What's in the box? This is a smaller box, but of course you only get five models. So, and there we have our round bases, and we get three part sprues, and of course the instruction sheet. So let's take a look at the part sprues. Now let's look at the big one first. So we got all kinds of cool stuff. Let me bring this up to the lens. There's one of the, uh, what are these things? The big whippy things. <laughs> these attach to the end of the axes and they're actually pretty deadly. That looks like a a fire stick right there for the Auric Hearthguard and the other bits are for the Hearthguard Berserkers there's I got this on an extreme zoom there's one of the bodies you look at the cool axes and everything you got there yeah very nice and of course we get into our second sprue and we've got some of the bodies there. The loincloth covering here. 
yeah extreme view focus here all in all pretty cool let's take a look at the instructions here there we go maybe this will stay in focus hearthguard berserkers and auric hearthguard now these are the guys holding the fire sticks And there you go, showing you how to build them. Assembly instructions are pretty straightforward, using the new 3D computer graphics. I still like the old days when they were all cartoon drawn, you know. Shows you all the options. Again, there's all the keys that they have, and the little things to hang off their belts. And the nice thing is they give you the war scroll for the Hearthguard Berserkers, right in the instructions. And then if you turn the page, these should be the Auric guys with the fire sticks. It gives you some profiles here of the, the different guys, what they look like in the formation of five. And of course, the instructions, or the uh, <laughs> war scrolls off the back. Well, I hope you enjoyed that issue of What's in the Box? with our Fire Slayer Hearthguard, and I hope you'll come down to Monster Hobbies and check them out. Now, I want to talk about something really quick here. We are going to run a tournament on December the 10th, 2016. This is an Age of Sigmar all-day event. You can come down and play on our tables, and how it's going to go is like this. The entry free... free... <laughs> The entry, the entry fee is free. That's right. And it starts at 10 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m. The army size is 1,000 points based off the General's Handbook. We're going to be doing three games. The battle plans we're going to use are Kill the Beast on page 141 of the Quest for Galmarez. We're going to do the battle on Loch Rioth. Than our, Adar, whatever, from the Trials of the Og here. That was a Warhammer World campaign. And that one's pretty cool because all your soldiers are on ice and they can fall through the ice on a bad dice roll. Uh, Border Wars, page 131 of the General's Handbook, will wrap out our game. So feel free to check those ones out. Um, the schedule will be 10 o'clock. Monster Hobbies, our doors will open. At 10.30, we'll have a little welcome briefing and pair people up. From 10.45 until 12.15, we will take our have our game one. Pardon me. From 12.15 to 1.15, it's going to be a lunch break. Game two begins at 1.15 to 2.45. And then from 2.45 to 3 o'clock, we'll take a 15-minute break. And from 3 o'clock to 4.30 p.m., will be game three and 4 30 to 5 will be the awards ceremony and the uh, five o'clock the event ends and at six o'clock we close of course now you may be asking well what is the awards ceremony well what it's going to be is a hundred dollars worth of games workshop merchandise as prizes so like this could be a prize it depends on what you want to pick out first place is going to get 50 points uh 50 dollars in product, so an item that would be $50 is what you'd win. Uh, $30 for second prize, and $20 for third. So I think this, the Hearthguard are in the 20 to $30 range. I'll have to look it up, don't quote me. We use uh, the Games Workshop prices exactly, we match them, so. But, you know, this would be like second place. If you wanted the Hearthguard, you can pick anything you like, right? As long as it fits into there. And if it goes over, you know, just cover the balance but at any rate that's what we're gonna do so check us out we want you to battle with us at uh, monster hobbies unit 42b 11th avenue southeast in high river alberta phone the store 403-652-5019 check us out on facebook monster hobbies in high river alberta canada and our website coming up brand new one www.monster-hobbies.com We take PayPal! Ha <laughs> ha! So yeah, for all those PayPal loving PayPal people, we got that. I can also accept Visa, MasterCard, Debit, 
everything except American Express. Sorry. So sorry. <laughs> but, you know, it's the policies, the terms, the percentages, uh, blah, blah, blah. So we don't take American Express, but we take everything else. And most people usually have everything else anyway. So check us out. And uh, what more can I say? Tune in for the next What's in the Box when we check out the Magma Droth. Hope to see you then. Bye.